for example, a couple of months ago, I uh, I had this information about some underground Russian movement that collects money for Ukrainian uh, refugees, de their, their kidnapped or relocated people in Russia, right? And uh, they made it possible for plenty of Ukrainian people who were kidnapped by Russians to return home. For example, um, I have a friend, uh, he, had a, he had a grandma who lived in Mariupol and uh, his grandma was relocated to the Russia-controlled uh, territory in Donbass, uh, in Donetsk specifically. From there she was relocated to Russia and uh, what she she managed to return because some local people uh, were able to give her money and uh, then she took a ticket and um, I'm not sure I think that she uh, made this trip around the Black Sea and to Ukraine and all but uh, she she said uh, some crazy things she said like they took her fingerprints and she's 83. So basically what they Enemy were doing... Of the state. Yeah. Uh, basically what they were doing, they were uh, taking phones from people. They tried to, uh, you know, uh, scan through phones and find uh, relatives of uh, soldiers of the Ukrainian armed forces and stuff like that. Uh, she d didn't have such contacts. Uh, and yeah, and she was grandma, but still they took her fingerprints because who knows? Maybe when she's 85, she will be old enough to, you know, uh, apply for uh, Ukrainian military intelligence and do some, <laughs> some crazy stuff.